Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kimmer, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward, what the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my room for a time. I'm not wrong. I'll find it for you. Nothing to see here. Piss off. Been since our last meeting, a year, near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Ah, let's see, much has changed in that short time, you know. None called me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ha! Convert them? God knows, Taurus. There's none here so foolish as that. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it here? We are nearly there. respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards! Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Surely men of talent and intelligence should be. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money to see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, uh, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? Virtue, 
if nothing else. Virtue! Oh, Torres. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. You, too, you, you were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see, si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. <sighs> Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the path. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources. That's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! No! Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! Kill Kenway for a better cause.
I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that! <laughs> 